Okay, hello guys. So, in this topic, we're going to discuss coplanar concurrent force system. So, may sample tayo dito. So, this is uh, using the concept. Ano? Okay, so. So, meron doon tayo ang example dito. Determine the magnitude and direction of resultant of the force uh, shown analytically. Okay, so meron tayong tatlong forces dito. 300 Newton. Okay, inclined 45 degrees with respect to Y. 500 Newton. Inclined with respect to X by 30 degrees. And 400 Newton. Inclined 35 degrees um, with respect to y. So, apply natin yung summation of forces. Okay, doon muna tayo sa horizontal. So, we have ayan, yung x component itong 300. So, since nandito yung angle natin na 45, so, gagamitin natin ay sine. And then, eto, x component ng 500 so, gagamitin natin is cosine. And this one, yung sa 400 natin. So, gagamitin natin is sine. So, ito yung nagiging sagot natin, no? So, yung 500 cosine 30 is negative dahil tumutok siya sa kaliwa. Okay. Sa so y naman, ayan. So, meron tayong positive y component ng 300 cosine yung gagamitin and then uh, yung component ng 500 so sine and yung component ng 400 which is uh, sine 35 so ito yung makakuha nating sagot 134.47 ngayon uh, ang gagawin natin is uh, since may x saka y component na tayo ang ginagawa lang dito is simply uh, apply the Pythagorean theorem which is r squared is equals to uh, rx squared plus uh, ry squared square root nun ok so parang ito yung mangyayari uh, Pythagorean theorem. No? Okay, then ang sagot niya is 134.74 and then tapos ito naman yung direction niya. So uh, ginamitan natin siya ng tangent. Okay, so Fy over Fx. So using the arc tangent so that is 86.36 degrees. Okay. Sa pangalawang problem natin, determine the magnitude of the forces A, B, and A, C for equilibrium. Dito sa solution natin, ang gagawin natin is i-assume natin na tension forces siya. Okay? Kasi kung sakaling ano, mali yung assumption natin, then uh, nag-negative halimbawa, then babalik na rin na lang natin yung assumption. Okay, so ganun ulit. Apply the summation of forces along x and apply the summation of forces along y. So, doon muna tayo sa summation of forces along x. Okay, so yan, yung, yung AB, yung AC, Okay, yung, ito yung sa x component ni 4 kN. So, si 3 kN, uh, ang x component niya is 3. Yung 2 kN naman is walang component. So, therefore, ito yan. Ano? So, magagamit natin itong equation na to, Okay, later on. 
sabihin natin, siya si equation 1. So, yan ano? Uh, AB cosine 20, positive. AC cosine 45, positive. Minus 3, minus 4 sine 30 degrees. So, simplifying, ito yung equation 1 natin. Okay, then next is a y, y axis naman. Ayan. So, that is uh, yung y component na ang AB. And then, uh, y component ng AC sa pababa. Magne-negative yan. And then, y component ng 4. So, yung 2 kN natin is negative na pababa. So, yun lang yung kanyang y component. So, therefore, ito yung magiging sagot natin. So, sabihin natin na ito ay equation number uh, 2. Okay, so, solving natin yung equation na yan, uh, simply uh, add, adding equation 1 and equation 2, since sine 45 and cosine 45 is equal, so alam naman natin yan, equal yan, then we obtain, okay, this one, ano, Okay, so, AB plus sine 20. So, parang nangyari, it will go back uh, dito, ano, itong equation 1 dito, saka itong equation 2. Magka-cancel lang itong dalawang AC. Okay, so, kaya ito yung naging sagot. Positive yung sagot, so, tama yung assumption. So, from equation 1, so, kunin natin yung values ng AC. At ito yung makakuha natin. Okay? And for checking, para sure, okay, yan, this one. So, tama naman. Nagtumog ba naman siya? So, therefore, okay siya. So, yan. I hope may natutunan kayo sa sample natin. Okay, so, that's it. See you next time.